Hey guys, I am back for my Among Us Spice Cafe box for the month of June 2018. Um, I have a lot of fun with this box. Um, basically what it is is you get snacks and three manga. Um, I'll put the price points in the website down below for anyone who is interested. And I think the theme was like colorful or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But first off, what we're going to do is what I did last time, which is just do a quick um, overview of the manga that we got from the, la the last box and what I thought. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I only have two of them because the one that I already had, which was, I think, Ghost Diaries, I already had the first volume of it. I'd actually read it. I didn't really like it. Like the, um, I don't know, the... I just didn't really care for the characters, nothing really pulled me in. I thought I would like it because, you know, it's like him trying to save his sister, but I don't know, the witch in it or demon or whatever she was, I, I don't know. I just didn't really like it. I actually gave it to a friend who works at a library to see if she wants to, like, I think try and put it into the library rotation. So that's already gone. <laughs> but I do have the other two and I did read both of these. Um, I guess... It's really hard because, like, I didn't really care for either of these, but for very different reasons. <laughs> like, Spirit Circle, um, I just didn't, like, it couldn't, it, was, it wasn't grabbing me in, like, the whole time I was reading it. So basically, it's about this kid who can see dead people, and then she transfers into the school and then I guess it's like wants to kill him because I guess like in a past life because they keep being reincarnated like their lives are intertwined and like he did something to her when she was one of those past 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 best lives and then as you go through it you kind of like see some of his past lives and I mean it's a neat premise but like none of it is like grabbing me like the uh, like normal storyline with this kid and the girl I like don't care for it at all this girl is kind of annoying to me and I don't know so like the past lives are a little bit better but it just didn't grab keep me going so like there's her and there's her in one of the past lives and there's him and there's him in one of the past lives. so I mean it was an interesting concept but it just like didn't grab me enough to want to keep reading it or get it and then the other one, Ioana and the Haunted Hot Springs, I wanted to like this one so bad because it's all about ghosts and I love ghosts, but, and it's not like the storyline is fine. It's just so etchy and fan servicey that like I can't like handle reading it. There's just boob everywhere. And I mean, I'm okay. I mean, I read freezing, so clearly I don't mind boobs, but this is just too much. It's almost like it's like every other page. He's like, oh no, I've fallen on top of her and I'm like underneath her yukata and now I'm on her boob. How, how do you even do that, sir? So it's just too much of that. Now, obviously some people, oh gosh, where can I even show a page? I mean, like some people would not have any problem with this. And it's just, depends on people's cups of tea it's just not something that I'm interested in so I am not going to continue this one but I kind of decided that my dislike that's just my personal taste some people might really enjoy this so you know what we're gonna pay it forward so there's gonna be a giveaway in this one I'm gonna give these two away to somebody so basically um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and put this up on I'm filming it a little early it's actually the 5th of July but I'm gonna try and get it up <clears throat> excuse me voice con on the 7th of July it's gonna run for a week so it's gonna close on the 14th of July and then on the 15th I don't know if I'm gonna get a video up because I'm actually out of town but I might just do one of those like um, comments that I've seen a lot of people do where they make like a comment to people and and say oh I won't be on or something like this but I might make a comment and say this is the winner so basically I'm gonna depending on if there's a lot of people that make comments or not I'll either use a random generator or just you know pull from a hat 
but um, I will try and announce the winner on the 15th. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be in a video or just in a little comment. We'll, we'll see. Um, so I'll run it for a week. Um, three? Yeah, three things. Must be a subscriber. Um, must be in the United States. Sorry, overseas peeps, but shipping's expensive. Um, and must be over the age of 18 <laughs> because I, I don't want to give this to anyone under the age of 18. So over the age of 18. Um, and that's it. Uh, basically, just make a comment down below and let me know the favorite manga series that you are currently reading right now. And then you'll be entered in. So that's it. Um, so we'll put these off to the side and somebody lucky winner is going to win those. But first off, well, next off, ugh, I just woke up guys. Um, let's get to the box because I've already rambled on for six minutes. So here is the overview of the box. I'm going to shift this to the side because it's so big. So here is the pamphlet. It is the 16th box. So it's got stuff about the uh, manga and the artist, some art, which is pretty, it's the snacks. So yeah, let's just get going. So first off, like I always do, I'm going to do the snacks. Oh, and this is cool. So this is cream soda flavored potato chips. I've never tried these before, so that is exciting. And I love savory snacks, so I can't wait to try those. I will try them with my sister. We always get a drink, and the drink we got is pineapple flavored Roman A, which is cool. I don't think I've tried pineapple. We also got a, ooh, cool. It's Yon Yon, which obviously we can get here in the States, but I've never seen it doubled. So it has chocolate and strawberry and then the sticks. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in our stores. We also got animal bites, which are bite-sized animal shaped biscuits dipped in chocolate. So that's cool. We got a tiny little pig chew. Looks like maybe gum. And then last off from the snacks, and they've been doing this and this is pretty cool. They have a little baggie of like random ones. These are like, I think they're the gummy ones. So I've had those before, but that's really cool. And then the manga. Dun, dun, dun. So let's actually shift to the middle. This is the manga that they advertised for the sneak peek for this month, which is Little Witch Academia. That's actually cool because I know a lot of people like this one. I don't <clears throat> know much about it, but I know a lot of people like it. So it says, uh, reach out your hand and your story will begin. These words changed young Aiko's, Aiko, whatever, forever, sparking in her a lifelong dream of becoming a real witch. Now she's been accepted to the scheme school as her childhood hero. The prestigious Luna Nova Witchcraft Academy is the only student to come from a non-magical family. She finds herself surrounded by prodigies from around the world, but giving up isn't in her vocabulary. Whether it's making friends, proving the doubters wrong, or just flying on a broom, she's going to make her fantasy a reality. So that is cute. It definitely sounds cute. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. Now we have... Mako Garage School Suite number one. Oh, okay. This is from One Piece Book. One Piece Books. This one I don't really know that much about. The only thing I know that they have done is actually I heard the sunspot, which is actually my sister's copy. I just need to I keep putting off. I need to read it and so I can give it back to her. But so I've never read anything else from them. Well, I haven't read anything, but that's the only other thing I knew from them. So that's cool. Um. Iyuma, Iyumi, oh my gosh, these Japanese names, is preparing to enter high school, but there's only, there's just one problem. None of the schools interest her. The uniforms are all too boring until she, she discovers Mikagura Academy. 
After she miraculously passes the entrance exam, she discovers that the academy isn't a typical school. The school only allows students to form culture-themed school clubs. Participate in those clubs is compulsory, and there's a battle system where students must compete with each other as representatives of their clubs. Now she must discover her power and win her first battle. Okay. So... Not sure about that one, but we'll give it a shot. And then there is Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle. And this is actually quite amusing from because Gene Graves actually got this one. And I think he did a review on it. And it actually sounded kind of interesting. And I was going to consider picking it up. So I, I got it. I don't have to worry about it. So this says, Kidnapped by the Demon King and imprisoned in his castle, Princess... Silius is bored. She decides to wander away. She decides to to away while away the hours by sleeping, but getting a good night's rest turns out to be a lot of work. She begins by fashioning a DIY pillow out of the fur of her teddy bear demon guard and an air mattress from the magical shield of the wind. The princess's hapless demon demonic guards soon discover that their captive expects to be treated like Walla Princess. Things go from bad to worse for her captors when some of her schemes end in her untimely if temporarily demise and she chooses the forbidden grimoire for her bedtime reading. So this one just sounds really funny and Jean Graves said that it was really funny so I'm actually looking forward to reading this one and it's awesome that I don't have to buy it now because I was considering it. I almost picked this one up. I'm glad I didn't. And that is everything in the box. Um, I actually like this one. Like the other one, I mean, the fact that at least two of them sound like I'm gonna really like them. The one, maybe, it could surprise me, but at least two of them sound good. I mean, that's better than some of the other boxes where I only thought one of them was, was gonna sound good. But that is it for the Manga Spice Cafe for a box for June 2018. The next one, I know she's announced it. It's something like Fight or something like that, but it's uh, My Hero Academia's Vigilantes is the um, manga that they're um, promoting from it, which I actually did try to read My Hero Academia, and it, I don't know. I, my friend said that the anime is much better, so that I should try that out, and maybe I will eventually, but I'm probably going to give the Vigilante copy to her, because I know she likes the show, and I don't know. But, so that's the next one. So anyways, um, like I said, giveaways going. Add your comments down below what your favorite manga series you're currently reading. Over the age of 18, U.S. residents only. And it will end on the 14th of July which I actually think is my brother's birthday so that's cool um so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed I will see you guys later for the next video everyone have a very good rest of the day bye